we ate out of this thing from um, February to like the end of June. One meal a day this provided for my wife and I, at least, and, and more. And so now it's in its ragtag stage. It's in its uh, uh, seed bearing stage. We're trying to grow seed for next year. We got bok choy here, various kind of lettuces, mustards. We got uh, arugula, chard, kale, some tomatoes worked in. It's really kind of wild permaculture. Got tons of aphids, but we're just letting the ladybugs take care of them. We got carrots here, down here. We got, you know, kale, some chard, and got some seed coming on here. Gather that up. Here, many of you may not know what stevia looks like. That's what stevia looks like when it's unrefined. And it has all that good plant chlorophyll and stuff that is really kind of what you're looking for. Chlorophyll is very much like blood in the body. It acts similarly. Got basil here and stuff. Basil, all the mints are medicinal. Um, they all have that antimicrobial, antibacterial um, aspect to them. So that is our hoop house. Hey everybody, what's up? It's the Plant Man here. Just uh, getting ready to get you another recipe. Um, just harvested a big old bunch of beautiful carrots from my greenhouse out there. And uh, we're gonna make some uh, guacamole with carrot chips. So uh, every time we come to you, we wanna just bring you a little bit of information, stuff we've learned along the way doing the raw food diet. There are little tricks and ins and outs um, it, that's kinda hard to come by. Uh, if you just get a recipe book. Um, one big thing is brassicas. We've just been looking into brassicas. We're going to do a little episode on that. We'll do a kimchi. Tell you about fermented foods. That's a big, big part. Uh, another thing is nuts and grains got to be sprouted because otherwise those enzyme inhibitors won't allow you to really get the most out of them. And uh, you know, raw nuts and grains will put out a little tail once they're sprouted and you can get books that will refer you to that I refer everyone to nourishing traditions it's got a lot of that kind of information my wife is digging into it and she'll probably come at you with a little more detail so like cabbages can mess up your thyroid if you uh, eat too many of them raw and a lot of recipes call for cabbage so another thing that I've keyed into recently after watching the documentary breakthrough is a key thing about the raw diet is a very active lifestyle. I'm a landscaper and so I get that every day. Another thing is meditation. Meditation really helps digestion. It calms the nervous system. You can kind of let things flow a little better. And then there's the subject of alkalinity versus acidity. The subject of living water and structured water within plants. And then uh, just kind of the vibrational aspect and medicinal aspects of plants so you know uh, enough jabbering just wanted to give you a little tidbit about the brassicas and the nuts and uh, we'll bring you a recipe now okay so we're gonna just keep rolling here because uh, I'm pretty much there uh, just to show you a few tricks along the way so you can see the recipe we got avocados three avocados here we got um, uh, tomato lemon cilantro onion, corn, and uh, we're gonna also add, oh, we got some Celtic sea salt here. Uh, yeah, this is my little trick for getting the uh, pit out of the avocado. You just kind of dig it in there and twist. Oh yeah, garlic. Garlic's another key garlic thing. Garlic, very important. Mm -hmm. uh, I was, uh, my sister has all kinds of gluten allergies. <laughs> And dairy allergies and uh, she told me a few years ago she was like watch it it's gonna sneak up on you because I was just eating whatever I wanted you know I'm like oh pfft, whatever sis and uh, it, it got me and uh, ever since I started this I've had greater energy I was kind of dragging around before I'd wake up in the middle of the night doubled over in pain this is my son Julian my beautiful son Julian just getting into raw food now. 
He's been doing it a bit for a while. We've eaten smoothies forever, practically. My wife was the true inspiration for our family to go raw because she uh, just kind of willed it into our existence years ago. She was interested in it. And she, we read a book that our good friend Dre gave us. Dre, Dre has much respect and love. Um, and Shannon too, I'm sure Jonah's thinking. Um, I miss Shannon a lot. Hey yeah. Shannon, if you're watching this, oh, hey. and this is Jeremy. Very creative Lego maker. Also getting into raw food. All the kids do gymnastics and break dance. They're all interested in music. Uh, we do do some core reading and math and stuff like that they hate. But uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I hate that stuff. But we just want uh, you, uh, our kids to be healthy and happy and free and uh, follow their own interests to their yeah, heart's sure. desire because that's what's going to be best for them. Okay, so here uh, here we go. We got the recipe. Um, we got our, our slivered carrot chips. Uh, you can also use jicama. Jicama is really good. Um, yeah, you can have them. Okay. We got some tomato, a little bit of onion. I'll probably only use about half that onion for those three avocados. Uh, some corn, a little bit of cilantro. When you're doing herbs, it's good to roll them. And then you rock back on the knife. You keep your tips, tips of your fingers back like that. And um, you keep the front of the blade down and you just kind of rock on the knife like that. So, uh, Jules is my smash master here. He's smashing it up, looking good. And uh, so, I'm just going to start adding it here. Smashing it goes. Put a little onion in. Can help you out too. Oh, there's also lemon juice in here. I think uh, about a quarter cup, right, Han? Yeah. All right. Maybe a little more. Um, all right. So that's it. Just gonna add a little salt now. Start with like maybe uh, uh, half a teaspoon or so, and you can just work up from there. And, uh, I kind of like it a little salty, so I'm just off the bat add a little more. And salts are really good for you. If you get the right kinds of salt, you gotta get Celtic sea salt or pink Himalayan salt. Um, they have a crystalline structure that is special, and it's not uh, like your regular iodized table salt is kind of a, like a chemically funky noxiousness. So you want to try and get real salt. And uh, so yeah, that's our recipe. We're gonna munch down now, and. Uh, Thanks again. Peace. Much love. You want to try it, Jeremy? Yeah, let's munch, everybody. Sure. Tell me how it is, as long as it's still still going. You want to try, Jonah? Yeah, well, might as well, I For guess. the sake of adventure, something. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. That's good. Oh, mm. that is a stop. Mm. Personally, mm -hmm. personally, I have my own taste, but yeah. whatever likes it. Pretty good. Yeah. It tastes just like your average, oh. your average guacamole. How do you like it, Julian? Mm, yeah. Awesome. Mama, Thanks for making out. this oh, for no. me, Dad. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs>